Hi, this is Stephen Falk, and we're in my uh, Kobo in Japan. And I just wanted to outline uh, the project that I'm going to do next. In it's uh, mid November 2016, so coming up in December, this is the guitar that's going to be finished. And um, I'm building this for myself on spec, uh, and I'm I'm building this just to just as an outlet for trying ideas and kind of doing something that I want to do uh, as a maker. I'm really interested in this guitar by Ribo y Alcanis that is in one of my guitar books. And it was good, it was owned by Miguel Llobet, the, the guitarist. And uh, he played it in his, um, kind of in his practice room. And it's a small guitar with a very narrow lower bout. And just something about it to me is very compelling. I think it's a very, uh, a very interesting little guitar. It's, it's not really a small guitar in terms of the length of the body, but the lower bout is kind of narrowed and it just has a really nice presence. So I'm not making a copy of this guitar, but I'm making a guitar that is kind of inspired by this guitar kind of the things it says to me about the scale and the proportions. So I've started uh, a guitar with a cedar top and I have put a rosette into it that's a little bit uh, <laughs> freewheeling. I usually don't do this kind of rosette but I thought let's just try something different. So I had some uh, ebony that had a lot of very blonde sapwood and I took a circle cutter and a, and a Forstner bit that fit together and I cut circles out of it, out of the wood. And I uh, planed the edges of the wood and I edge joined them. And then I cut holes in it and then pushed the circles back, the circles that I had cut from other scrap and pushed them back into it and I made this rosette. Some people are gonna think it's kind of kooky, other people might find it interesting. But anyway, so it's a it's a a cedar top, and I wanted to try an open lateral brace kind of arrangement for the bracing. This has nothing to do with the history of the Ribot Alcanis guitar. I'm simply taking off on the body shape, the plantilla of it, and I'm working with this idea that I had about uh, the bracing. So I've extended these outside braces all the way up through the lateral brace. Not sure how that's going to work. It could be pretty good, but I'm going to refine the cutting of these as I go along before I do the final assembly. The back is going to be a uh, one, two, three, four panel piece of uh, made from Hinoki uh, Cypress that I use a lot on my flamenco guitars, but I'm making a four panel back and it has Macassar ebony spacers. And the binding on this guitar is also going to be Macassar ebony. So these two components, the top and the back, cedar and uh, the Western red cedar top and the Hinoki cypress back. And I'm going to use, um, uh, Indian rosewood sides that are already shaped for this purpose. And the neck, I'm not going with my own personal headstock, but I went with kind of a Torres, kind of torres -y kind of headstock because the Ribot y Alcanis guitar has that. So stylistically, that's what I'm uh, aiming at for this guitar. So it's really, it's an ahistorical hodgepodge of things and it's a freewheeling kind of interpretation of that Ribowi Alcanis guitar. So that's going to be the next guitar I'm making and this is just entirely a fun project for me as a maker to cut away from my usual custom orders. This is just something I wanted to put together with a spirit of playfulness. So I hope it's going to be a really great guitar and I hope eventually someone will be interested in buying it. So thank you very much for having a look at it.